Hello everyone, Professor Cynic here. I hope your day is going swimmingly thus far. I'm checking in to cover some updates on the upcoming Animal Crossing title, New Horizons. At E3 this past week, we were shown some gameplay footage, much to my and many people's excitement, but we were also given some unfortunate news. New Horizons was originally announced for release sometime in 2019, but this has since been delayed to March 20th of 2020. In the E3 Direct, Yoshiaki Koizumi had this statement following the new footage. Originally, we announced this title as a 2019 release. However, we need to change its release date to March 20th of 2020. To ensure that the game is the best it can be, we must ask you to wait a little longer than we thought. My initial reaction to this was, okay, they need to delay the game. Maybe Nintendo thought the 2019 release date was too aggressive for what still needed to be done on the game, and in all honesty, I'm fine with it. If it means we get a more polished experience, it's entirely fine by me. Nintendo is one of the few software publishers that I have 100% faith in when purchasing a game. If you're buying a Nintendo title, whether you like the game or not, it's rarely a buggy disaster. They aren't in the business of releasing a game too early to push it to market and then patching it later. So anyway, to me, I'm fine with waiting a little longer for a better experience. And it softens the blow with the amount of games coming out this year that I have interest in. But then we were given some additional information as to why this delay is supposedly happening. In an interview, Nintendo of America president Doug Bowser had this to say, The crunch point is an interesting one. For us, one of our key tenets is that we bring smiles to people's faces. And we talk about that all the time. It's our vision, or our mission I should say. For us, that applies to our own employees. We need to make sure that our employees have good work-life balance. One of those examples is that we will not bring a game to market before it's ready. We just talked about one example. It's really important that we have that balance in our work. It's actually something we're proud of. So what I'm inferring from Doug's statement here is that the delay in New Horizons release is necessary to avoid crunch for Nintendo staff. If, and that is a big if, if this is truly the reason that it's being delayed, I say bravo Nintendo. I can't think of a better reason to delay a game than to take care of your staff and make work something that they don't dread. This comes at a time where more and more stories of crunch in the gaming industry are being revealed, as well as other questionable practices by companies, like, you know, laying off hundreds of employees despite recording record profits. I haven't forgotten, Blizzard. I haven't forgotten. So yeah, if this is the real reason that it's being delayed, then I say this story needs to be getting even more airtime than it currently is, because it's an example for all of the other larger companies out there. Now say what you will about Nintendo and some of the decisions they've made, their inability to figure out a good solution for online gaming, the Nintendo Creators Program, and this thing, yeesh. But something they've always been good at is software, and I think they'll find that while this delay announcement initially cost them, like, $1 billion of stock value, it's going to repay them hand over fist in the years to come. Why? Because of the simple fact that you are going to have a loyal, well-rested workforce. And you know what? When workers feel appreciated and enjoy their work, they will work harder for you. They will. It's something that many companies haven't gotten through their thick skulls because they answer to the stockholders and not their employees who they treat like cattle. A commodity. This will pay them back in the long run. It will. Now there's a small, cynical, niggling part of my brain that says to me, Professor! This is a game company after all, what if this is just a ploy to get goodwill out of the public, and it was going to be delayed anyway, and the crunch is going to happen anyway? Well I suppose that is possible, but I'm going to give Nintendo the benefit of the doubt on this one. I'm going to take what Bowser said at face value, and if his words prove to be untrue, I'm sure we will hear about it, and we can address it at that time. After all, we now have the receipts. To my fellow gamers out there, I want to implore you to praise Nintendo for this move. You have a right to be disappointed in the delay. I'm disappointed too. But keep your disappointment respectful. But know that it is being done for a good reason. Probably. The last thing we want is to spew a bunch of vitriol Nintendo's way, which just reinforces that companies need to employ crunch in order to please the crowd. Let's not do this. The boots on the ground folks in the industry need all of the support they can get, because this is not an easy industry to work in. So if we let them know we support moves like this, Maybe others will listen. I want to leave you with a quote, and really this goes out to the larger game companies out there. It's a quote from Richard Branson, founder of The Virgin Group. The quote is perfect for the situation. It goes like this. 
Clients do not come first. Employees come first. If you take care of your employees, they will take care of the clients. Good advice. And so this is the part of the video where I want to hear from you. Are you looking forward to New Horizons? What do you think about the delay? Do you think Nintendo's decision to avoid crunch could reverberate through the industry and cause some real positive change for workers? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, keep things civil. Folks, that's going to do it for me, and until next time, I remind you to stay cynical. Bye now.